अर्नेस्ट रुथरफोर्ड 1871 टू 1937 अर्नेस्ट रुथरफोर्ड वाज बोर्न इन स्प्रिंग ग्रोव न्यूजीलैंड ऑन अगस्त 30 1871 इन 1911 अर्नेस्ट रुथरफोर्ड ए फॉर्मर स्टूडेंट ऑफ जोसेफ जॉन थॉमसन प्रूव्ड थॉमसन्स प्लम पुडिंग मॉडल इनकरेक्ट Rutherford and their two assistants Ernest Martson and Hans Jenzer performed a series of experiment using alpha particles Rutherford tested Thomson's hypothesis by devising his gold foil experiment Rutherford reasoned that If Thomson's atomic model was correct then the mass of the atom was spread out throughout the atom The structure of atom was first given by the plum pudding model of Joseph John Thomson before the experiment of Ernest Rutherford The plum pudding model explained an atom as positive charged body which contain a small negatively charged particles which are called electrons J.J. Thomson also described that the negative charge in atom is balanced with the equal amount of positive charge to maintain the neutrality of atom but there were some fault in this model of thomson's J.J. Thomson did not give the complete structure of atom which was then given by Rutherford in his gold foil experiment in 1898 which was published in 1911 Rutherford's gold foil experiment Rutherford bombardment alpha particle that is helium nuclei on gold foil and recorded the location of the alpha particle strike on a fluorescent screen alpha particle gold foil and thin film as expected most of alpha particles passed on or on affected through the gold foil and a small number of particle were deflected at the angle but is amazement was a few alpha particle rebounded almost directly straight backwards most of alpha particle passed unaffected a few number of particle diffract the angle and a very few number of alpha particles rebounded directly through backward Rutherford's famously said later it was almost as incredible as if you fired a 15 inch shell at a piece of tissue paper and it came back and hit you After performing his experiment he made observations almost all the alpha particles did pass through the foil some alpha particle were deflected off at different angle and observed at the screen of the detector very few of the alpha particle bounced backward after hitting the gold foil on the basis of this observation rutherford made the following conclusions most of the alpha particle pass straight line through the gold foil without any deflection that means most of the space within the atom is empty some of the alpha particle were deflected by large angle or bounced backward that means they must have approached some positively charged region responsible for the deflection this positively charged region is now called the nucleus 
as very few alpha particle undergone the deflection it was concluded that the volume occupied by the central region is a very small the alpha particle which are relatively denser were deflected by the central volume of large it shows that almost the complete mass of the atom must be within the central volume Ernest Rutherford's atomic model that is also known as planetary model or nuclear atom model most of part of atom is empty approximately whole mass of the atom is concentrated at the center of atom which is now called nucleus the positively charged particle are present in the center of atom the charge on the nucleus of an atom is positive and equal to z multiply e where z is charge number and e is charge of proton the negatively charged particles that is electron rotate around the central positive portion in different circular orbits central region that is nucleus is very small in size as compared to the size of atom 3d view of rutherford's atomic model Rutherford's atomic model was later improved and quantified by one of his former student that is Niels Bohr with the known Bohr's atomic model defects in Rutherford's atomic model according to classical electromagnetic theory being a charged particle electron when accelerated must emit a energy we know that the motion of electron around the nucleus is a accelerated motion therefore it must radiate energy but in actual practice this does not happen suppose if it it is happens then due to continuous loss of energy of orbit of electron must decrease continuously consequently electron will fall into the nucleus but this is against the actual situation and this shows that atom is unstable if the electron emit energy continuously so that continuous spectrum should be formed but in real practical line spectrum is observed that means rutherford's given atomic model some faults there 